Yeah. And he got mad. He's like, why you doing that to the Lord? Uh, he, he asked us how could Jesus had a point though. Go ahead, I like I, I like that. You gonna grab that sign or Oh yeah, definitely. It's Israel. It just says Israel. It's, that's all you need to know, it's Israel. That's the old school sign, that's battle one right there. Look like they got hit by bullets and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it was like we do this every day. <laughs> we started uh, Isaiah the 13th chapter. The burden of Babylon. Oh, Babylon, the burden of Babylon. We in Babylon right now. Which I, oh, go ahead. Which Isaiah the son of uh, Amos did see. Lift thee up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. So the Bible says you got to exalt your voice. I mean, you got to go out on the streets. You got to teach people this word. So that's what we're going to do. It said, uh, you know, lift up that banner. What's that banner? The banner is this word, this Bible. And a lot of y'all don't seem to forget about. I have commanded my sanctified ones I have also called my mighty ones for, for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. Yeah, so who rejoices in the highness? That's the elected Israel. Keep going. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdom of nations gathered together, the Lord of hosts must muster the host of the battle. So that's why we got, we got that going on right now over there in the Middle East. World War III is about to pop off. Turkey just attacked Syria. Syria just attacked Turkey. Keep going with it. America's about to attack Iran and Russia's going to shoot missiles on America. That's what's going to happen. Don't y'all know that Russia is about to shoot thermonuclear missiles on America while y'all watching football? Why y'all worried about a rig? Uh, uh, presidential election. Y'all going out voting for Obama? You know what I'm saying? Don't you know the uh, thermonuclear war is about to break out? But that's what the scriptures talk about. The scriptures talk about all nations coming together for that great battle on that great day. So that's going to happen soon. Soon it's going to be all out destruction and death on the earth. That's what's coming. And the main destruction is going to be right here in America. Because y'all have been wicked as can be, don't want to follow the laws of the Bible. So the Lord said, if you ain't going to follow his, uh, if you ain't going to follow his commandments, then he's going to destroy you. He's going to destroy two-thirds of Israel. It's being confirmed. Here it is. It's being confirmed. Pentagon deploys military forces. Oh, hold on, hold on. The loud-ass car. Let's try to do that again. Okay, it's being confirmed here. The Pentagon just deployed military forces to Jordan you and see, Syrian borders. You see that? So the Pentagon, the Pentagon, they just sent troops over there to Syria. Uh, the, Amer the American military just sent troops to, uh, to Syria. The president, your, your loving president, Barack Obama, AKA the devil and Satan, he just sent all kind of troops over there to Syria. So they about to, pop, uh, they about to start World War III. World War III's about to get popping. So, so yeah, Obama's the, a great president. He's doing a good thing. I'm not gonna read Oh, God, that's, that's good. That's the point. What more do you need to read? It said, it said the Pentagon deployed troops to Syria. That's all you need to know. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great noise, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustered the host of the battle. So that's going to be a great noise. When all the missiles start flying, all these countries start shooting missiles at each other. When Russia and America start ex have a nuclear exchange, that's gonna be a great noise. And then there's gonna be a nuclear exchange too. 
a thermonuclear war. That's what that's what's coming. They come from a far country, from the end of yeah, heaven. I feel like I'm like Even oh, the Lord and the weapons of His indignation to destroy the whole land. Yeah, yeah, because the nukes will destroy the whole land. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. So the day of the Lord is at hand, that's what we're telling people. It's like you reading the gospel. Yahweh Shai said, he said, go to the, to, the, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and tell them, look, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So that's, that's what you're supposed to be doing. If we tell people, yeah, this place is going to be destroyed, that's a good thing. Because right. that means the kingdom of heaven is going to come in. And the Lord's going to set up the kingdom. Because for the kingdom to come in, all the wickedness got to be destroyed. That's right. If you're going to have nothing but pure righteousness on the earth, what, 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 ha what has to happen to the wicked? It's got to be destroyed. Oh, uh, go ahead. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. So they gonna, their hearts going to melt when they see those missiles. Because their heart's not melting right now. Because people don't even know that America's about to go to war with Syria. They don't even know what Syria is. They never even heard of Syria before. That's, that's how stupid people are. All right, go ahead. That's right. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth when they shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to slay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall not shall be darkened. In yeah, because when you got all that destruction popping off, when you got all these uh, thermonuclear missiles uh, hitting all over the place, you ain't gonna be able to see the sky. You're not gonna be able to see the sun. He got fucked up. He got fucked up. Ah, he, Damn, that's what happened. Over here to make a joke or something. Yeah, he's probably laughing at us. Yes, I did. Huh? Yes, Damn, I did. Damn, dude, what's wrong with you? I was dodging the runner. He's about to get fucked up again. He's about to get hit by that car. Now he's all delirious now. He got fucked up. You didn't get the whole thing on camera, did you? I got him laying on the ground. That's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> we, we got the sound, then he laying on the I got him coming up. You didn't get that on camera, did you? <laughs> man, because it happens all the he time. Up. He hurt too. Like last week, a bitch. He's getting like, you to ride the bike now. Last week, a bitch came in front of us and sprained her ankle. Yeah. But people, every time people walk by, they get broke. They, get, they trip when they're going by us. They mocked us enough, long enough, you know? So that's what happens when you mock the men of the Lord. Because you're really mocking the Lord. So the Lord, the Lord got angels out here to fuck you up, man. You know, they, um, there's been news here that uh, it's like the, the bike accidents. Motherfuckers get hit by cars and trucks on their bikes. Huh. Like, increase like 100%, man. That's hilarious. It's like two, every day, somebody get hit by a car, man. That's good, that's fun. Every day. Uh, <laughs> that was going to be in the right scripture to me. Oh, the day of the so Lord coming, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to, the, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners with the power. So how come, how come all these so-called preachers out here ain't teaching that? They're teaching everybody the Lord's going to come back and just love every person, that the Lord's saving faggots, mm -hmm. that the Lord's going to save whores and prostitutes. Mm -hmm. The Lord. Oh, he's saying that the church is teaching the Edomites can be saved. They saying Edomites are going to be saved. They saying Ishmaelites can be saved. I get Esau come by when I talk about it. What's up, Esau? He's cursed. Yeah, but yeah, none of these, none of these so-called uh, leaders out here are warning you about this destruction that's coming, man. They overcome. There's very few people warning you about destruction. That maybe, I mean, these, these churches, they ain't got a clue, man. They got a fucking clue. They don't know nothing. They don't know their head from their ass. When you're teaching the congregation of fools, then you don't gotta know shit, you know? They don't know no scriptures. No one in the church know no scriptures. 
but they tell you, I've been, I've been going to church all my life. I've been going all my life. I don't know shit about the scripture. They're perfect sacred. That's what they are. Yeah, well, let me hear your preacher read this one. Read that. Okay. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof. Oh, hold on. Let me hear your grandma. Everybody wants to talk about my grandma know the Bible. Let me see your grandma. If your grandma read you this scripture, <laughs> read that, man. Right. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in the, in the going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil. So the, the Lord said he's going to punish the world for their evil. He going? I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. So it's an evil, super duper evil, wicked world. It don't get no worse than this. We, we live in Sodom and Gomorrah. This place is awful. So the Lord's going to punish them. And one of y'all that's right, y'all going to get uh, saved. You always have to throw that in there, yeah. Some people are getting saved, but the scriptures say that a few shall be saved. So if it sounds like it's a lot of destruction, a lot of death, and ain't a whole lot of people making it, that's true. Because ain't a whole lot of people making it. I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Yeah, because these people out here are proud. They just be surrounded by a bunch of proud bastards. And like when a proud ass bitch walk by, Get that, that that look like she's better than you. The Lord's gonna take that pride away. Like when these when these rich white people walk down the street with their suit on, they look at us like, <laughs> look at these bums. And hey, the Lord's gonna cause that pride to cease. Hey, and he's gonna be our servant. I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So if y'all man. All you wicked motherfuckers gonna get laid low. Keep going. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man, even, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts. And in that day of his fierce anger, and it shall be as a chaste robe and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Nigga, you got a lot of that now. A lot of people saying, we gotta get out of America before the collapse comes. They be calling into the radio shows. Mm -hmm. Like, where, where's a good place I can move before the collapse comes? Where's a good safe place? It's like uh, South America's pretty safe, <laughs> you know? But I mean, you can't escape the destruction. Nowhere on earth. I got a scripture to back up what this was saying. Okay. Hey, let me read this real quick. This is, this is hot fire right here. Jeremiah 14 and, excuse me, is that right? Yeah, Jeremiah 14 and uh, 13. Then said I, ah, Lord God, behold, the prophets say unto them, ye shall not see the sword. So that's why, like we was talking about these preachers out here. Yeah, they're not telling them, telling y'all about the destruction that's coming. They're not telling you about all the war that's coming. They're not warning you about the race riots that's coming. Okay? They're not warning you about the concentration camps. Or one, the market of beef. All right. And then, uh, they're not warning you about nothing, man. They're not, these teach, the preachers out here ain't teaching you nothing. Nothing. And not, none of these other so-called teachers on YouTube are teaching nothing either. Like all them new age people teaching about the Hanunnaki. You know you the David Ikes and all them weird motherfuckers. Jordan Maxwell. Uh, that truth Irishy. That, that faggot. He ain't committed suicide? No, he's still obsessed with it. Truth Irishy is obsessed with it. It's always coming to our page. Watching all of our videos trying to learn shit. There's that dude from NSYNC. The gay one. I think they're all gay. Said, then the Lord said unto me. Actually, let me read this again. Then, then said I, our Lord God, behold, the prophets say unto them, ye shall not see the sword, neither shall you have famine. So these people, we tell people they gonna be no food in the store. We've been warning people for the longest, telling y'all like, look, soon there ain't gonna be no food. There's gonna be a famine. 
Okay. Do a kick e flip. The economy's gonna stop. He's gonna get broke. So yeah, soon the economy's gonna collapse. So what you gonna do? What are you going to do when you go to the grocery store and ain't no food on the shelf? Yeah, where are you going to do? You got a garden? You got a garden in your backyard? How many of y'all got gardens? You got you a got cow? Garden. You got cattle? Chickens. Hey, yeah, you got chickens. You got you got chickens laying eggs. You got some roosters. Y'all ain't going to You got survive. a garden? When this famine hits, there's going to be cannibalism out here. Hey, that's crazy, but that's what's going to happen. And, and these preachers, they'll tell you that's a lie. They're like, oh, that ain't gonna happen, baby. It's gonna happen, all right? That's the scripture says it's gonna happen. Neither shall, neither shall you, uh, in, the, in them evil ass, wicked ass pastors say, neither shall you have famine. But the Lord said, but I will, uh, but I will assure peace in this place. Then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not. That's right, that's right. That's talking about all these preachers in these churches. The Lord said he did not send them. He said they're liars. These preachers tell you there's going to be peace. There ain't going to be no peace. There's going to be nothing but death and destruction. Sit the damn selves. No matter who wins the election, we're going to get race riots. Mm -hmm. We're going to get concentration camps. There's going to be a civil war. And as soon as the government, they're going to try to put a microchip in everybody. So yeah. it's going to be all out chaos and madness out here. It's coming. Then the Lord said unto me, the prophet, the prophesied lie, excuse me, the, the Lord said, I can't see. Then said the Lord unto me, the prophets prophesied lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. That's right, so the Spirit's not dealing with them then. Yeah. You know? They prophesy unto you a false vision. Woo, what? That's what the Bible says about these preachers. It says they prophesy unto you a false vision. I'm letting it roll because it's speaking for itself. It is. And divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. Therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, sword and famine shall not be in this land, but sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. So, th so these preachers out here, they, they deny what we say, and they tell you everything's going to be okay, it's going to be all peace. The Lord's going to bring the sword upon them. And he's going to make them starve. And he's going to make them eat their children. And he's going to lock them preachers up in a concentration camp. They're going to get tortured. They, they, yeah, they're going to get fed sh uh, fish heads and shit and manure and worms before they meet the guillotine. You know what I'm saying? And they got the guillotines too. Don't you know the United States government own all kind of guillotines? Do you know what a guillotine is? Anybody ever seen a guillotine before? I mentioned it to people because there's a lot of people that didn't even know what a guillotine was, never heard of it or nothing. Yeah, because now they don't want to punish someone to death with drugs no more because that uh, destroys all the organs. So now they're going to use the guillotine so they can chop your head off and preserve all your organs. That's the big bracket right now. They make a lot of money from it. Yeah. A whole lot of them. That's their future. Especially past the pork shop. You know, Deacon, Deacon Chitlins. This, this is your future right here. This, this is, check down this, this future. This is a future prophecy for you, for you, for you fake ass pastors. I got a prophecy for them right here. And the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword and they shall have none to bury them. Them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. Damn, so that stink is just gonna be laying around. Dead bodies just gonna be fucking laying around. <laughs> that's oh, man, that's, that's a, a bad, society, that's man. bad, ain't it? <laughs> what, it keeps going. Therefore thou shalt say this word unto them. Let mine eyes run down with tears night and day. And let them not cease for the virgin daughter of my people 
is broken with a great breach right. with a very grievous blow. And that daughter is talking about all of it, but ain't just talking about no fucking stinking ass bitches. But it, it, it's talking about them too. Yeah, cause, cause, yeah, cause his daughter is the children. The daughter of Zion, that's Israel. That's Israel. Because right. Israel's likened unto a beautiful woman. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. Israel's the Israel's the bride of the most high. Okay? He's the husbandman. He's the husband. We're the bride. We're married unto the Lord. So that's why we're likened unto a woman. But this woman has been breached. You know what I'm saying? Because like a woman, you expect a woman to be pure. Okay? But that's how our people is likened unto a whorish woman. Because they commit a fornication against the Lord. So the Lord likened the nation of Israel unto a whorish woman. And she's been breached. Just like if a woman gets breached, what does that mean? She's been defiled. Alright, I got some more to this. If I go forth into the into what does that say? If I go forth into the field, then behold. The slain with the sword. He said there's gonna be a people slain by the sword. And if I enter enter into the city, then behold them that are sick with famine. Yea, both the prophet and the priest. <laughs> oh, let me get it. Both the prophet and the priest in a land that they knew not. Hast thou utterly rejected Judah? Hast thou so loathed Zion? Why hast thou smitten us? And there is no healing for us. There's going to be no healing. We look for, hey, look at this. We look for peace and there is no good. And for the time of healing and behold trouble. That's right. That's pretty much, I might as well finish the chapter up. We, yeah. we acknowledge, O oh Lord, our wickedness and the iniquity of our fathers for we have sinned against thee. So we we acknowledge our wickedness. We know we wicked. All right. We we know. Okay. So we know we ain't right. We gonna repent. We gonna try to do what the Lord said to do. Said, do not abhor us for thy name's sake. Talking to the Most High. Do not disgrace the throne of thy glory. Remember, break not thy covenant with us. Our, are there any among the vanities of the Gentiles that can cause rain? <laughs> oh yeah, can all any of these heathens out here make it rain? Hey, can you make it rain? Is that a negative? Esau, Esau tries to make it rain now. He's like, I can do that. Okay, Esau, make a planet, bitch. Let me see you create a solar system. Let me see you create a galaxy. Can y'all do that? Y'all can't do that. Y'all can't even create a moon, let alone a planet or a sun. Just create a, create a new bug. Just a simple little bug. Y'all create a... Just create a new bug. You can't do none of that. Simple hand. It says, Art not thou he, O Lord our God? Therefore we will wait upon thee, for thou hast made all these things. That, that's, the, that's the end of the okay. word. Ezekiel 34 and 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Oh, uh, prophesy against the shepherds. It was, that's talking about all these fake ass preachers out here. Man, it's like, it's, any of these churches you go to out here, they're all wicked, man. They all, every last one of them is wicked. They're all wicked. They all teach them bullshit and lies. That's right. And all the, all the pastors are a bunch of feminized homosexuals. A bunch of just straight up bitches, man. I got nothing nice to say about it. Go ahead. Prophesy and say unto them, thus said the Lord power unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. They, they feed themselves. That's what these preachers do. Why do they feed themselves? All they care about is money. All they doing, and they got a bunch of dumb old bitches up in their churches and they taking all their money. That's all they doing. Like the scripture said, they take advantage of the widow. Mm -hmm. You know, the old women, mm -hmm. they got all that money from their husband that died. Mm -hmm. And now the preacher takes all that money. That's right. Go ahead. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherd feed the flock? You eat the fat? Yeah, so that preacher should be taking all that money he's making, and he should be helping people. He ain't doing that, he's the devil. He going, but some people, oh, well my church passes out sandwiches. We pass out hot dogs. 
Motherfucker, you ain't supposed to eat pork. What is it? Oh, what is it? I don't know. Can you zoom in on that? I'm just curious, man. Probably a predator or something. I started falling asleep, but... You got predators all over the place. So we got boots to the right. I think it's a chair. I really do. I think that's a chair. Because I've been watching it for a minute. I ain't yeah. seen no other lights. Or no shape, you know what I mean? That's good. I'm sure if it's a chair, they'd want to hear the word. That's right. Okay. Should not the, should not the shepherd feed the flock? You eat the fat and you clothe you with the wool. You kill them that are fed, but you feed not the flock. They don't. Yeah, because these people ain't getting fed. What does it mean by fed? That means to get knowledge. So that means to learn something. So when you go to a church, they don't even teach you nothing, man. Okay? First of all, the Bible was originally written in Hebrew and Greek. The churches won't even tell you that, man. They have never studied Greek or Hebrew day in their life. They'll never study shit. They don't know anything. They don't know basic history. They don't study. That's what it means to get fed is to get fed with knowledge. You know what I'm saying? We feed you with knowledge. We'll feed you with scriptures. That's right. We'll give you scriptures you ain't never heard before. Scriptures you need to hear. And then we'll break the scriptures down properly. That's getting fed. Getting fed is getting this knowledge, man. Getting this truth. And these your precept for that scripture? One of the main reasons to get fed is know that you an Israelite. None of these preachers out here are teaching their people that they're Israelites. They'll actually tell people in that congregation, they'll tell black, yeah, preachers will tell black people that they are Canaanites. That's what all, a lot of these Baptist churches teach. Remember when we got attacked by that man and woman that came with your daughter? Yeah. They smacked the Bible in your hand. Yep. They came and said we was Canaanites. They did say it's Canaanites. And the Bible said, curse be Canaan. Canaan's a servant. So if your preacher's telling you that you a Canaanite, he's saying that you cursed. Tells you how stupid that shit is, man. Telling you you a heathen. Yeah, calling you a heathen. And you're like, yes, massa. Four. <laughs> the disease have ye not strengthened, neither have ye healed that which was sick, neither have ye bound up that which was broken, neither have ye brought again that which was driven away. Neither have ye sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them. With force and cruelty. And that goes out to them, uh, all, all the so-called leaders out there too. Starting with the black leaders like uh, Jesse Jackass Jackson, mm -hmm. Al Charlatan, yeah, yeah. some more of them faggots. A uh, whole lot of them faggots. And they go all the, all the other, we can talk, name some white ones too. Oh yeah, Creek Blow for the dollar. Uh, what's that white dude's name up here in Columbus? Uh, uh, Presley, uh, what is it? Rob Parsley, he's a damn devil, man. Big cocksucker. You know Rob Parsley's a damn devil? Yeah, he's a devil worshiper. He worships Satan, you know that? Y'all worship Satan probably too. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. That's a popular thing now is being a faggot and worshiping Satan. So shit don't surprise us. Being all out fucking victim. But we out here to tell you you're doing wrong. Man, we ain't making it up. You got people walking down the street wearing devil worship and t-shirts. Tattoos and shit. You can go, yeah, you can go to a Marilyn Manson concert, he'll rip up a Bible on the stage. People gonna say we're crazy. But we're not the one cutting ourselves with glass ripping up the Bible. We'll say we're crazy. Right. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. Yep. So My sheep. Oh yeah, there's them beasts. That's talking about. It, it's not just talking about animals, you know. That's talking about because that, the police. That's a, some beast. These bitches are some beasts. That court system's a beast. You know, the mayors, the governors, the judges, the yep. prosecutors. They're like wild the animals. They're like wild animals waiting to devour you. The beasts. Yep. The whole fucking judicial system. They're like a bunch of uh, poisonous snakes. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. My sheep wandering through the, all the mountains and upon every high hill, yea, my flock was scattered upon all the faces of the earth. So that's why people was wandering all over the place. They wandering around not knowing what the hell's going on. Just wandering around. Don't, don't, they in fucking La La Land. Don't know where they at. Don't know who they are. Don't know where they're going. Don't know shit. That's Israel. 
and yep. none did search or seek after them. And this also proves that Israel is scattered among all nations. Because the Israelites, I can always say this, the Israelites are the most numerous people on the planet. And we're scattered among all nations. Okay, so we're the most numerous people on the planet. That's a secret in the Bible. That's a great mystery. The people ain't teaching. All right, go ahead. Um, Therefore, ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, said the Lord, in power. Surely because my flock became a prey, and my flock became meat to every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd, neither did my shepherd search for my flock. What does that mean there's no shepherd? There's nobody to teach this word. That's what that's talking about. But now that's why we're here. That's why the Lord set GMS up. You know what I'm saying? Got that's brothers right. like us out here teaching the Bible. Because now, now the Lord, he said, he, you're reading that, but then he said, I'll send you pastors after my own heart. Okay? Search for my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves. So that's why we searching for the flock right now. That's why the Lord said what? Matthew 15, 24, the one you called Jesus, he said, go only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that's what we're doing. We're out here uh, looking for the Israelites and nobody else. That's, go ahead. It, that's it. But the shepherds uh, fed themselves. For the, for the, uh, excuse me, for the elected Israel. Go ahead. But the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my flock. Yeah, so how come if everybody claimed to love the Bible so much, how come you don't see people outside teaching the Bible? When you read the Bible, the Bible clearly tells you over and over yeah. again yeah. that you're supposed to do the work on the highways and the byways on the streets. And none of these faggot ass preachers a dare come out on the streets and preach the Bible. Why is that? Because they'll get, get confronted. Somebody's gonna confront them and then they're gonna make them look foolish. Because these preachers don't study. So if they, when these preachers, they get into a debate with one of these college kids or something, you know, the, the, the college kid make them look stupid. You know what I'm saying? But ain't nobody gonna make us look stupid because we can't be proved wrong by anyone. There's not a single person on this planet that can disprove anything that we're saying. That's right. All right, go ahead. Therefore, O ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord power. Behold, I am against the shepherd. I am against the shepherds. And I would require my flock at thy hand, at their hand. Oh yeah, you know, your boy Barack Obama, he's really considered, he, he's not an Israelite. But they act like he a shepherd. You know what I mean? He ain't no damn shepherd, he's a devil. He's gonna lead you straight to destruction. So, so if you call yourself, a, if you call yourself voting, call yourself a Democrat, a Republican, out here talking about, I'm a, I like Romney. Or I like Obama. The Lord ain't dealing with you, man. The Bible ain't dealing with this wicked ass government and this wicked ass political system. These wicked ass leaders. They all a bunch of devils. Every every last senator, every last congressman is a damned heathen and a devil. That's God, all there is dude. to it. Barack, Barack Obama's a devil. Mitt Romney's a damned devil. Now, you, man, these people, man, they fucking lost, man. They're lost. They just, they're in imagination land. There's no fucking hope. Go ahead. And I require my flock at their hand and cause them to cease from feeding the flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves anymore. Yeah, so soon the Lord about to, he about to cut that milk and honey off. You know what I mean? All, all these preachers out here getting their little hustle on. Soon you ain't going to have no hustle. Get cut off. Well, you get cut off, so I mean, go live it up. If you want it, because I know you fake preachers watch our videos too. Y'all always watch our videos in secret, stealing scriptures from us. You know what I mean? Y'all steal a scripture from us and act like you came up with it. You know, and we ain't come, I mean, it's the Lord came up with them scriptures. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We didn't write this. That's right. We didn't prepare this before we came out. Making up our own, you know what I mean? Making up our own damn scriptures. Yeah, we usually just open it up and just, read. Just going with the spirit. That's how we do it. For I would deliver my flock from their mouth, that they may not be meat for them. For thus said the Lord power, behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep, that are scattered. 
And that's why he sent you how because he's the good shepherd. That's why he's called the good shepherd. Good shepherd. All right. What is he so called? A, a, a goat. Yeah, he's a, he's he's a, a goat. goat. He's not even a sheep. He's a goat. Like Bafo Met. Yeah. Of course. Y'all know about Baf Baffy? Bafo Met? Y'all get broke yet? You guys drink fluoridated water? Hey, come back here. Come hell in. You drink fluoridated water? Hey, come talk to us real quick. Y'all want to learn something? You bastard. Fuck that niggas. Because, I mean, we out here to teach people, man. And nobody fucking but, listening. And it's all good. The Lord, I mean, uh, knowledge ain't for a bitch no way. So. We just try to spit game at him. someone to talk to. Hey, the people that look, they getting a little scared to talk to us, ain't they? No reason to be. No need to be. There's like little demons and goblins walking around. Like we playing goons and goblins. Goons and goblins? How you doing here, bro? It comes a herd of people. Is it? Let's get a scripture for this herd right here. Uh, so will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloud and in the day of in the dark day. So y'all don't like to hear that. Y'all don't want to hear about the Lord's sheep being gathered up. Because most people hate the Bible. They got a problem with the Bible. So if you're one of those type of people that don't like the Bible and you're an atheist and agnostic, guess what? The Lord's gonna kill you. But man, I just had to say that. You know, you walk by, look at us. You gotta tell them what's happening. And Lord. I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers and in all the inhabitants places of the country. Yeah, so, yeah, so some, I mean, that's ultimately, because the scriptures say the earth was created for Israel. So the Lord created the whole earth for us, you know what I'm saying? And soon we're going to be in the kingdom. After this place gets destroyed, the Lord's going to deliver us. We're going to be in the kingdom. And ain't going to be no more of this faggot shit out here, man. I'm going to give them some more examples of how to make these pastors work. Oh, uh, man, there's a lot of scriptures on that. Okay, I'm going to Matthew 6 chapter. Oh, that's what I was about to, I was thinking, I was about to say Matthew 6 chapter. Okay, um... It doesn't get no better than that because he breaks it down step by step. Yeah. Um... um Matthew 6 and 1. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men. Alright, listen. It says, take heed that you do not your alms. Now, so I know our people are stupid. They have no idea what the word alms mean. What that means is like uh, charity, uh, to get someone a donation. Like when you, know, you ever see like celebrities, they be on TV bragging about how much money they donated to someone. Like I just donated six million to the cancer fund. Right, right. Well, you know, the Bible says don't do that. If you're gonna give someone money, man, do it in secret, you know? I even have one of these celebrities be doing shit for just a random individual. They do it for press. Mm -hmm. They do it for publicity. That's why they do it. The same thing with these preachers. You go to a church, like I was watching a Rob Parsley uh, video, and Rob, he's a preacher here in Columbus, World Harvest. But he be uh, passing out money on his show. Like, you know what I'm saying? He'll be like, Sister Mary, look under your seat. The Lord just gave you a gift. She'll look under her seat, be like $100. I mean, the scriptures clearly say don't do that. So go ahead, read that again. Take heed that ye do not your own before men to be seen of them. Otherwise ye have no reward of your father which is in heaven. Yeah, that's why people always want to give, up, give away money and brag about it. Like I, I help people out all the time. Or they want to pass out sandwiches all the time. You know what I'm saying? Always somebody I'm feeding. Look at this stupid motherfucker, man. Now go ahead. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound the trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do 
in the synagogue and in the streets. So that's what that's what the hypocrites do. When you go to these churches, they always brag about who they help. Celebrities always bragging about how much money they donated. You ain't supposed to do that. Go ahead. Um, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. They got your reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. See? That thy alms may be in secret. In secret. And thy fathers which seeketh in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Yeah, so you're supposed to be helping people because you want to help them. Not because you want to be popular and you want people to think highly of you. It's not about you. That's, that's what people got to come to realize. It's not about you. You got to come to the realization that really you're just a worm. The Bible says, Jacob, thou worm. Well, worm. Why are we a worm? Because we're going to die. We're going. Worms are going to eat us. That's why. Who, who, who's a man that he dies? There's a scripture with Isaiah 54. I think I, I probably all say who's a man that dies. You know what I'm saying? I'll be go ahead with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, because people always want to want to be want people to think of him as a great man. Only thing that makes you great is teaching his word. Okay. Oh, uh, go ahead. Okay. And, and most most brothers in the elect ain't got no money to donate anyway. <laughs> you ain't gonna get much shit from us. Sorry for you. Shit. <laughs> hey, we need someone to donate to us. <laughs> so you ain't gotta worry about us uh, bragging about passing stuff out. <laughs> I'm for real though. I mean that's just the way it is. <laughs> yeah, cause false. <laughs> False prophets do not have empty pockets. You know what I'm saying? Don't, that don't happen. Have you noticed, in this world, the liar and the wicked get ahead. Whoever lies, cheats, steals, and kills the most has the most money. That's how you get ahead in the world, by hurting people. That's right. By being a damn thief. Oh. I think all those Wall Street bankers made all their millions and billions and they, wait, they print the money. Yeah. So they own more than money. And yeah, they got all that wealth through thievery. I'll go ahead. Okay, this is 1 Corinthians 14 and 37. If any man think himself to be a prophet huh. or, a, or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. So everything in the Bible is a commandment of the Lord. I, I, it's good, go ahead. If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. There's a lot of ignorant people. You know what I'm saying? We got to deal with, deal with uh, these ignorant fools every day. The people never study, they don't know basic history. Most people can't even read and write no more. Yo, most people don't can't even name the Ten Commandments. Y'all act like you spiritual. You don't even know the Ten Commandments. You ain't read your Bible before a day in your life. They don't even know what sin is. Don't yeah, don't even don't know nothing. Excuse me, y'all know what sin is? Can you name the Ten Commandments? Y'all know what sin is? Yeah, y'all know just lawless. Oh yeah, most people never even heard of Moses. They don't know who Moses is, never heard of Joshua. Don't know who King Solomon was. Just a bunch of degenerates, a bunch of incompetents. I'll go ahead. Wherefore, brother, covet to prophesy and forbid not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done decently and in order. So there's no, nothing in America is done decently and in order. There's no order in this wicked ass society. We live in a society where a woman can kill her baby in an act called abortion, but at the same time, a man can be a faggot. And then they say a woman can have an abortion, kill their baby, you can be a faggot, faggots can get married, but if a man, when it has more than one wife, that's a crime, you go to jail. You get locked up. What kind of fucked up shit is this? What kind of confused shit is this? That's confusion. It's the land of confusion. That's crazy. 
I said, we live in a land where it's okay. It's okay for a woman to kill a baby. These bitches get all kinds of abortions. They'll commit adultery on a man. They'll commit adultery on a man. The Bible says when a woman gets with a man, she's supposed to stay together for life. But in this country, if a woman gets a divorce from a man, commits adultery, she gets rewarded with motherfucking alimony and child support. What kind of fucked up shit is that? You didn't get the house. The Bible said an adulterous woman is not supposed to get child support or alimony. She's supposed to get stung to the head. That's what an adulterous woman gets. Not no goddamn child support. All these women is a bunch of goddamn hoes. And that's the truth. We're going to speak the truth. We're going to teach it in all boldness. In all seriousness. Hey, uh, I can't remember who the dude that said it, though. But he said that these women are delicate vessels built, built upon sewers. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a poet. Yeah, that's that a was a poet that said that shit. <laughs> That sounds like a prophet said yeah. that. You know? Hey, you know, some, the scriptures do say that their sons and daughters are prophesied. But sometimes people that ain't even in the truth deep like us, sometimes a little prophecy will come out of their mouth. You know? Mm -hmm. They'll have a dream. You know, sometimes uh, somebody you know that's not really deep in the truth, they believe in the most high, they'll get a dream. You know what I'm saying? The Lord has sent them a vision. Yeah. And they try to break it down for you. Yeah, so tell but, you what it's all about. Yep. <laughs> Going off like a motherfucker too. Cause uh, yeah, cause a lot of times a musician will say stuff. Uh, they'll say something that, that, that's true. They'll come up with a good saying that we can reuse. You know what I mean? All right, go ahead. Okay, Jeremiah the second chapter. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, "Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus said the Lord." I remember thee the kindness of thy youth, the love of thy espousal, when thou wentest after me in the wilderness, in a land that was not sown. Israel was holiness unto the Lord, and the first fruit of his increase. Yeah, because the Lord sanctified Israel out there in the wilderness. That's why he made him stay out there for 40 years. Because he had to make sure all the ones that was being wicked died before right. everybody else went to the promised land. And the most high fucked them wicked Israelites up out there in the desert, man. Right. He, he, brought, he brought law and order. The wicked died out in the wilderness. Yeah, they did. Evil shall come upon them, said the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob. So, so hold on, you know, just like the first, because as soon there's going to be another exodus. Just like there was an exodus mm -hmm. back in the ancient world, soon there's going to be an exodus from this king. The Lord's going to deliver us. Because this place is going to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? That's going, this place is going to totally be utterly, totally destroyed. Smoke's going to ascend to heaven forever and ever. But when the Lord brings us up out of here, you think he's just going to save everybody? Can't everybody go to the kingdom? Some people got to die and be purified before they can enter into the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? So only the elect, gonna, only the elect can go to the kingdom. Everybody else out here that don't want to repent, they're going to be destroyed right here with, along with... All the rest of these heathens, man. All right, go ahead. Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob. So the Bible said, Hear ye the word of the Lord, O ye house of Jacob. So it's only talking to Jacob. Keep going. And all the families of the house of Israel. So the Bible's talking to Israel. That's who we out here to teach. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Keep going. Thus said the Lord, what iniquity have your fathers found in me that they are going forth from me? Oh, yeah, so you're going to say the Lord is evil? That's what people try to tell us. They try to tell us that we're evil because we teach what the Bible actually says. We, we tell you what the Bible really says. Then they got a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Because it condemns them. That's why. And have walked after vanity and are become vain. So look at all these vain fools out here, man. These people are vain and they foolish. You going? Yeah, there ain't no fear of the Lord in them. You know? There's no fear. Neither said they. Where's the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt that led us through the wilderness? Well, yeah, a lot of people, they'll say that the, the, the uh, Exodus never happened. They'll be like, that's a fairy tale. Y'all made that up. They're a bunch of damn devils, man. Keep going. 
that led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and of pits, through a land of drought and of the shadow of death, through a land that no man passed through and where no man dwelt. And I brought you into a plentiful country to eat the fruit thereof and the goodness thereof. But when we entered, we defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. Yep. Hey, cause you know, that's what the Israelites did in the ancient world is they defiled that land over there in Israel, started killing each other, doing all kind of wickedness, committing all kind of adultery, not following the Bible, following Baal, worshiping the devil. And the same thing happened to America. You know, America used to be a beautiful land. Now it's all fucked up. Rivers are all polluted, skies all polluted, the women's polluted, people's minds are polluted. It's backwards as hell. It's polluted, it's just a disgusting, filthy place, man. Yeah, all, right? yeah, all the food you're eating is genetically modified. GMO. Now, do you know, do you know that 90% of the corn in America is genetically modified? And it is a fact that genetically modified corn causes cancer. That's why Russia, that's why Russia just banned the importation of American corn because American corn causes cancer because it's genetically modified. So if you got a if you got a tumor growing out your coochie, you know where it's from. That's it, and them bitches over there laughed at us. We're crazy. We're conspiracy theorists. We're you know we're insane. What because we read the newspaper, we're we're, we're crazy. We're we're friends lunatics. Cause because when we went watch the news. So so I guess Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, he must be a conspiracy theorist. Cause he said he ain't gonna have no American corn going in this country. So I guess Vladimir Putin is a conspiracy theorist and he's crazy. Cause he said he don't want American corn in this country because it causes cancer. Because it's genetically modified. He's crazy. He's a conspiracy theorist. He's, he's a wacko. He's crazy. Go ahead. I hate these motherfuckers, man. The, the Lord's gonna bring them to death and swift destruction on these fools, man. Go ahead. The priest said not. So go ahead, go go drink a whole bottle of ketchup. Go drink some corn syrup, because it all got uh, high fruit.